Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Kelly, and I'm the chair of the SSH Research Committee. Today, I'll be giving you just a few insights into striving for excellence in simulation research and highlighting the activities of the research committee and how they can support you. Um, I'll be followed by after this presentation by Jill Sanko, who will be uh, available live during SSH Simulation Week. And then Karen Mangol will also be available for a Q&A. And as you can see, Jill, um, Karen is uh, Vice Chair of our Research Committee. So just to um, give you the objectives for this session, uh, which were available on uh, the uh, website uh, just prior to the meeting. And it's really just to give you an idea of um, what the range of activities that the research committee are undertaking, offer opportunities for engagement and mentorship in research, and to raise awareness, and this is when I will switch to Jill, of the virtual scholars program, which is overseen by the uh, Academy Fellows. Sorry, I'm just going to move my um, picture around a little bit to give you an idea of who's on our research committee. Uh, Aaron Calhoun is our board liaison, a previous chair of the research committee. And you can see the uh, names and faces of the other members. Uh, we have um, also international contributions. Uh, Gay Breedy from London, UK, Kathy Smith from Toronto, Canada, and Zali Amadi from Kuala Lumpur in um, Malaysia. We are ably supported by our um, SSH support staff, Kathy Adams, Kristen Gadledge, and Hannah Trainer. Now, here is just a, a sum of the current projects and portfolios. You can see there's a lot of work happening. And uh, I'll be going through each of these in a little bit more detail. First of all, the SSH Knowledge Map. Uh, it's a wonderful repository of information and it's a unique and powerful tool to be able to connect you with uh, content areas, research initiatives, different methodologies and applications. And this is ably run by Susan Eller and more recently supported by Zalia Mardi. The uh, website is at the bottom there. So um, do yourself a favor and have a look at the knowledge map and uh, contact um, the committee or Susan directly for further information. The Articles of Influence is, a, I think, a nice little initiative. I'm a bit biased there because I'm joined by Gay Breedy, Sir Cantor and Kathy Smith. And this is now in its fifth year, and we put, put it out to members to, to volunteer to review a small tranche of abstracts from any of the four journals, but your preference uh, of the four journals listed there. We're switching over to uh, a, a new journal because BMJ still is now uh, no longer. So we... Um, really are interested, rather than a uh, ranking of what are the top 10, we're interested in what articles influence your practice and research. So it's quite a subjective um, uh, endeavour, but um, it, I think it's more meaningful than a, a ranking. So we ask you to rate out of one to five, which journals in the group that we send to you and we aim to have three uh, reviewers for each group so that we have some uh, robustness around the process. So um, watch out for more information coming very soon. But you're most welcome to join or volunteer as a reviewer. Um, next, we have the International uh, Simulation Data Registry. I'm just going to move me around a little bit. And uh, this is ably led by Linda Brown and Sir Cantoy. And again, it's a wonderful repository ongoing um, and archiving standardized data, which is derived from SIM-based activities, various institutions. So it's a global initiative. And the three 
uh, purposes uh, listed there. And it's really to be able to uh, dip into some uh, curated and uh, broad reaching data to then learn and build uh, in this space. The Early Career Simulation Research Grants, formerly known as the Novice Research Grants, are available to novices to be first person listed on the grant application. And it's a two-phase process. You put an expression of interest and outline of your research proposal. And once that is reviewed and uh, if it reaches the next stage, uh, you are asked to put in a full proposal. So all these activities are happening uh, right now or very soon. And uh, grants between $5,000 or $10,000 are available. But a key part is that you are supported by a team uh, within your research uh, centre or wherever you are working. Uh, in the research world. The scientific, IMSH scientific content advisory team, you can imagine uh, knowing IMSH, the breadth of uh, activities and presentations, that this is not a small endeavour. So we have uh, Mark Adler and Kyle supporting Karen Mangold. And we are always after reviewers. It makes the work um, more manageable if there are more people reviewing. And uh, also to perhaps volunteer for professorial rounds uh, for the um, uh, post presentations, etc. cetera. So uh, Karen will be on the call uh, after this for Q&A. Um, another initiative at IMSH, and this is particularly geared for um, mentees, is to provide opportunity during a speed mentoring session with mentors. So again, we're always after uh, people to volunteer to be mentors and to also make your novice research colleagues aware of this activity because they can um, discuss what their ideas are. They might already be embarking on a research um, study, but um, it's an opportunity to talk to experienced researchers um, within this session at IMSH. So please take note of that as well. And the research summit coming up in January as um, the alternate to pre-conference workshops. And you can see the goals there are fourfold. Uh, exploration of known research topics and areas within healthcare simulation research, but also emerging areas. And very ably led by uh, Demetrius Stephanidis and supported by Kristen Gadlidge. And again, there's the link to the summit down the bottom. Also, there are many, many research tools within the website. And uh, if you're not sort of looking out for them or purposely searching, then um, here they are. And the link at the bottom is where you will find the hyperlinks that are listed here. So I uh, offer that to you as a bit of an exploration when you've got, you know, a spare 10 minutes or so. Uh, and are looking for supportive or more knowledge about uh, conducting or and exploring research. So that is all from me. Uh, questions are possible in the upcoming Q&A and there's contact details for two of our support people that I'm now going to hand over to Jill Sanko who will be talking about uh, the Re Virtual Scholars Program and then there's the opportunity for a live Q&A with Jill and with um, Karen Mangold. So thanks so much, everyone. And um, I'll see you in January in Orlando.